Hello there everybody, it's me Waddles and welcome back to the Minecraft Guide episode 41. You know what rhymes with 41? I am the one, the one that- Aha, you thought I was going to break out into that old meme. No, 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 joke's on you, I can't do that, I have stuff to get done today. I am more excited than ever really to be back into this world and um, I am ready to tackle a project. So, um, at the end of uh, the last episode, we, we made it back home from our exploration with some pretty pretty plants. These plants need to be farmed, of course, right? That's what we do with things. So, today the goal, bamboo farm. Pretty simple. Now, I've been thinking about like a design and what I could really do, and I... I think I have a really, really cool idea, um, and, and that idea is going to require quite a bit of building space. Today, we're going to use our same build theme, but, but a different one, don't get me wrong. Um, I want the buildings to all kind of match and go with each other, but I can't do the same thing over and over again. The key to a good Minecraft city is using similar blocks, right? Like, we build a building and then we make the other buildings look kind of like it in a way. All buildings don't have to look identical for your town to be good, but if they look similar, or at least like they kind of fit together, like you don't have a giant terracotta building and then all of a sudden a, a full cobblestone building, right? That probably wouldn't match well. I find that as long as your buildings have at least one element in common, shape, size, something like that, um, then you're good to go. On this build, we'll be using color as our connector. So uh, lots of white concrete has been prepared to be created. Lots of dark oak wood. Um, stone for sure. We'll use a little bit of stone. Not a lot, but browns, whites, and maybe a little bit of grays. The build itself, well, of course, it'll go right over here where I am clearing out space. But um, looking at this space here that I have, like on this raised ground, I, I think I need to lower it one more block, unfortunately. So... Uh, back to digging for me, and by the way, the torches over here, those are from a caving expedition we did really early on um, in this world, so that's what that is. I went down there and lit those caves up when we were working on the slime farm, which I have not abandoned, don't worry. I just want to bring that up, that it's still going to be a thing, um, but the time, the, the bugs, the time has to be right for a project like that to, to go down. So I was thinking, and you know what would be really cool for a bamboo farm? Uh, a big building. Some kind of strong, sturdy, cool looking build. Bamboo is traditionally associated with China, but it does not only grow in China. The build style that we're going to do is traditionally associated with Japan, but it was not only used in Japan. It was used in much of East and Southeast Asia. The goal? A giant Japanese style build with the cool roof corners and, and, and everything fun like that. So um, let's go ahead and move our building um, station, I guess, out of the way. Where'd my crafting table go? Oh, oh no, I'm full already. I should definitely make a junk chest. Uh, the junk chest will be for dirt and anything that I'm not actually using on the build. So junk there um, and just dump it all in here. So let's talk about the build first and, and get this stuff in, and then we'll talk about doing the farm uh, later in the episode. And since this is such a different build style than what I usually do, we're definitely going to worry about the details later on in the build. Uh, now this house is going to be big, um, and I think I want it sitting up on stone. So we'll do like stone, and we'll mix in mossy and, and bricks and everything like that. Uh, but we have our stone layer, then we have... Um, a, a wooden layer and this is going to be the back corner I figured we'd start way at the back where um, you know we can't go anymore that way the build will go however far forward it needs to go but anyways I'd like to have a walkway along the outside of this house and and the house will be a giant tall square basically uh, three stories I think or maybe four I'm, I'm not too sure yet but we'll have a two wide walkway with birch wood then on the inside um, of this birch wood uh, comes Stripped dark oak wood, and lots, and, and when I say lots, I mean lots of white concrete, but problem, um, not the soft kind. We need the hardened form of concrete, but you know, 
you know, I, I think we could do this. So we'll use the dirt as our placeholder, and um, I, I think I want sections of four. Then we could do just concrete here, and we can dump water on the build to actually polish this stuff. So we don't need to waste time actually placing and, and breaking and everything. Um, I know, I know kind of crazy. I'm <laughs> inventing the future. This is the way of the future, guys, just like that. But anyways, in seriousness, lots of dark oak wood and white concrete, and then windows. I think I'd like to have a lot of windows on this build as well. Now, this is a build style that I have only ever done one time before, and it was in, like, a survival world that I played in with uh, some friends for fun. So, it's a big experiment today, and I think we need to take some of our conventional build tips like depth and stuff and throw that stuff out the window actually and kind of ignore it a little bit uh, which is something that makes me very very nervous because um, I don't like building flat builds but I really think that if we were to pop these beams out because I want to have beams running up this thing every once in a while uh, and if we were to have those beams pop out of the build it would get a little obnoxiously large right so I, I think flat is the way to go, and it, and it scares me a lot. Um, so let me go ahead and get a little bit more of the build in, um, so I can actually show you what I'm trying to do instead of poorly explain to you. <laughs> and oh no, I have created a flood. I did not think about that. Um, <laughs> whoops. Okay, so here's the concept laid out probably a whole lot better than what I was doing before. Uh, we have our building, right, with our flat beams, then we'll have some sort of support come up off of uh, the build here, which is the staircase. Then on the top up here, we do a roof line. This roof line will, I think, hang over... Hmm, how do I want to do this? You know what? Duh, this is how we do it. Okay, so uh, we'll have our roof come up with slabs, probably to there and then we'll have like a floor two coming up and kind of just replicating what we have down here uh, but then this roof will go over to the corner and on the corner um, that's where we have to figure out um, like how we do it because if you've seen this build style or you know what I'm doing the corners kind of like swoop up at the side uh, and they like kind of curve up and get a little pointy and I, I think we can use the wonderful new uh, like wall blocks here and then lots of slabs and of course oh well I guess I'll need them <laughs> <laughs> um, but of course we'll come back in and get like the mossy slab stuff going on but uh, first I really need to get the shape of this build figured out so let's see we have the corner um, come to here uh, but then we need to step the corner up I think so if we stepped up like that and then went out uh, would would that be good and so let's see what did I do I went um, up when I was even with the stair then I went over uh, then do we have one corner left? Uh, a diagonal? Eh, mm, that's not quite right. I think we need to push this all out. Or wait, 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 wait. Maybe it is right. Um, because we want to go up too, right? To get the correct angle. So maybe this is good, right? We step up and then one more time, step up again. Then can we put a wall on top of it? Ah, we can't. Hmm. Um, we could just do that. That might get a little too steep though. Um... What could we do to get around that? Uh, well, you know, that might be right. That might be right. We, we might have just figured it out. Uh, so what happens in here? Does that stay low? I think it goes up. Um, maybe we go down and then and then up. Uh, would that be right? Um, oh, boy, guys. Uh, oh, boy. I think that's it. I think that is the shape that we're going for, right? Like... Like, it swoops up and, get, and gets pointy, <laughs> for lack of a better word. I, I think that's right, but then the only other thing is some sort of fence um, beam needs to go in here, which, oh, I think that would be okay, right? Because um, then we could just go over, maybe, with two to make this whole thing connect and, and stay good, or we could even just fill that in. I'm sure that wouldn't hurt. No, that doesn't hurt at all. We can do that corner like that. That's perfect. So then on the build, fences will go all the way around the sides here. Other than, of course, the front, uh, where we'll have a, like a way up, which will be over here. I think this is a little steep, so we'll have to fix that. Um, but I, I think that's most of floor one all kind of figured out. Um, so I, I need to just keep making these towers, stripping this all, and then placing concrete, letting it all, you know, kind of fall. And then um, 
Yeah, like turning it to hardened concrete, which which is pretty easy. Okay, so it's me again. Yes, believe it or not, I am not gone away for today. Uh, we're going to do a Q&A over uh, this little time lapse here. So let's just jump into the questions. Don't waste any time. Uh, this question is from Minecraft Pro Player. The question, what's your favorite fast food restaurant? And you know, I, I'm i going to be one of those basic boys. I, I like McDonald's. McDonald's is good. Um, but from time to time, I can't have it a lot. Every once in a while, uh, yeah, so McDonald's is good. Faith asks, if you were part of a raid, which mob would you be? And you know, I've got to say, I would probably end up being the villager that is getting um, bullied. <laughs> Code Acumas season, I uh, just promoted for somebody, <laughs> uh, asks, what's the guide episode schedule? So the schedule, it, it's kind of random. I upload every single day of the week, and usually I do every other day a guide episode. Sometimes there's two guide episodes back to back. Sometimes there's two other types of videos back to back. But um, basically my schedule is three or four episodes a week. Um, there's no like day schedule thing. I just don't really like like day upload schedules because you know, I'll come up with a random idea and I want to do it, you know, so no schedule. And finally, last, but certainly not, not least at, at all, um, from Wee Woo, will sheep take over the world in the future? Well, my friend, I think you're on to something. There, there could be um, an uprising um, coming from the sheep, so we may have to build uh, some kind of containment facility, like a better one for the sheep. But with that, thank you everyone for all of the questions on Twitter. I love them all. I have fun reading them. And uh, let's go back to the build today. Uh-huh, well, did you see that cave? Um, that's a really good sign. So, you know, I, I, I heard a bunch of mobs, dug around, found that little cave, and uh, with how many mobs were in there, that means most of the other caves are probably lit up because spawns were concentrated there, which is really, really cool. Uh, but anyways, back to the build. I think it's coming along amazingly, actually. I'm really, really happy with how it looks, and it's about time for floor two of the build. So... I think it'll be pretty much the same game uh, this time around. I, I jump up, and uh, we aren't going to go inwards yet. I, I think I want this floor to stay, um, you know, kind of even with um, this wall. And then one more tier after this, I think. And on that tier, we'll go in one, I think. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but I, I need to make sure this is all symmetrical. So I have a window that is... Um, three tall then we fill in with concrete powder and we do the same roof shape but uh this time again the walls pop in so on the next floor we'll go um you know inwards one diagonally with these beams so we have a section of three middle section is three and then the other one is three and then um, we cap the build off. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed that little time-lapse idea. Um, I asked for the questions on Twitter, so that's where those came from. I think I already mentioned that, but, uh, yep, over on my Twitter. My Twitter is linked down below, so if I do that in the future, which I think I will, um, then uh, uh, you'll be the first to know, and maybe your question will be in the video. The goal was to progress the build and, and get some of it on camera, kind of addressing yesterday's comment of the day at the end of the episode a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like that, and I, I will definitely do more of those little things if, if you guys like it. Um, I don't have to really cut the whole build out or anything like that, but, um, but this time around, I, I think we will do, we'll do our normal, uh, jump, because it's, you know, pretty much the same thing. You guys have seen it now, and I'd love to be able to, to decorate the build, uh, today on camera. Oh, I need to strip those logs still. Uh, this is what it looks like with the logs not stripped, but... I, I just, I think it looks so much better uh, with these stripped logs. So I'm going to continue to strip all of these logs. I just forgot. Whoops. Okay, the structure is in, which means it is water time. Time for, I guess, another great flood or two all over the place. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to block off my staircase over here. Um, 
I just went down and had to light it all up again, and I'm not doing that. No, no, no. Okay, so same deal now. Uh, staircases going on the build. And now it's time to do the roof, but I, again, this time we are popping the roof in one. I also, uh, if you didn't notice, decided to come in with some dividers, um, you know, where these beams would be, just to spruce things up a little bit more, uh, you know, get the detail going on the build, so things would look nice and fancy. The corner should be done in pretty much the same way, I think. I'll just kind of curve the thing up and use walls again on the very corner um, to do that little detail piece. Okay, floor number two is in. Um, it's pretty much identical to the to the one lower, um, but I, I can definitely tell that I need more details, excuse me, in, in there. So uh, the only thing that I can think of, and it should work, I, I think, um, is this. If we were to take lots of sticks and then lots of wood and make lots of gates, uh, we could maybe come in with with those gates and these slabs and do um, a little bit of detail action like this. So extra supports for the roof, right? And then uh, boom, boom. And then I guess over here we do the same thing. Two gates and a support. Would this look good? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I think that's what we need. We needed just that in there. Maybe some fences coming off of uh, some of these beams, maybe like spruce ones to blend in with the wall, but that looks pretty good. Now on the top part, um, like I had mentioned before, it's pretty much the same thing, um, just one last time. So I'll step in with uh, the walls so they get a little smaller, and then I'll go up the same amount of blocks, and uh, then after that I'll throw a roof on this thing, and then we can actually move on to um, the next part of the build, which is... Detailing in the interior, all of that kind of cool stuff. So, uh, wish me luck here. Uh, I think uh, everything should go nice and smoothly, though. This whole build is really, really fun to do, and I love how it's turning out. Um, so, something like that, same roof, and here we go. The final stretch. Oh boy, <laughs> I created a waterfall, uh, quite the waterfall, flooding everything. I'm definitely going to need to come back in and re-decorate uh, all that grass, like, uh, whoops. Time for the first tree of the build. I was really stocked up this time around. So, this part of the roof is going to be very different. Um, we aren't going to, like, you know, go up again, or at least not right away. We need to go, like, towards the middle, and, and I think I need to make the, the roof, like, slope and, and, and get steeper. So, not sure how I'm going to pull this off. I, I think it can be done. It shouldn't be too hard, but uh, I, I guess it's just a matter of how. Like, how do I do it? Um... So let's see, could we maybe, um, uh, so we should go one more maybe, and then we could turn into like staircases on the, like the layer after this one. So let's say, um, staircase, right? Um, I think that would look okay. And then we could do maybe a second staircase one, and then that should get us close enough to the center to do maybe some sort of boxed room, but I will need to continue to do this whole like step thing going up um because i definitely think it should look like that um <laughs> i think we should keep these steps going um despite what it looks like i, I didn't kill the other llama i picked its remains up uh i think this llama is broken um <laughs> <laughs> it's shooting at nothing. Uh... 
Huh. That's weird. Um, yeah. Anyways, anyways, anyways. The build. Let's go ahead and climb up on top of the vine farm that has fully regrown uh, during the, the length of this build to take a look at what I have. I'm... I'm... Safe to say, uh, it, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. Now, the, the top roof, I, I don't know if I made that a little too tall or what, but it, it's fine. I, I think it looks really, really cool how it ended up. So uh, now we can move to to the inside, the actual farm itself, and detailing and, and everything cool like that. And to do that, we should probably cut down the bamboo over here that has been waiting uh, to be harvested. Now this farm is unfortunately not going to be an auto farm. We'll do an auto farm later, but you know, I was thinking and I don't think I can make a pretty looking automatic bamboo farm. So this thing and inside of this wonderful building here will be a semi-automatic bamboo farm uh, for now. I have an idea um, that involves moving floors that we would need slime blocks for. So I, I can't do any moving floors quite yet, um, but for now we could do a lot of sand, but actually, 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 I'm messing up. Um, I think it would be cool to do probably some wood along the edge here, but, uh, well, yeah, yeah, let's, let's keep it with, um, I blank sometimes, I don't know why. Uh, we'll keep it with birch wood for now, uh, maybe we'll change it later, I'm not too sure. The only big question that I have here for myself, really, is do we do one around the edge or do we do two? Uh, I'm kind of thinking we only do one. Um, yeah, we should only do one. Uh, well, hmm. If we went two in, we'd have quite a bit less room to plant, but would that be fine? I honestly, it might be fine to, to have a lot less room to plant because in all honesty, like this is a lot, um, this whole like square area, because I'm thinking I plant bamboo on each and every block and just let it grow, run in here every once in a while and chop it all down. So let's go ahead and do that whole, um, two and or you know you know what hold on i wonder if this would look good this could be kind of cool to to use some bone blocks in the build to bring the white from the walls down into the floor and to create a proper border for um our whole growing operation in the middle so let's let's try this out i i'm not 100 percent sold on it but i also can't see it yet so uh wait um over here so maybe it'll work all right look it wasn't me. It, it wasn't me. You know, I I think I actually like the, the bone blocks in here, so we are going to keep them in here. Now, along the edges, uh, we definitely need some lighting in here, so maybe we could do some fence corners here, um, and then lanterns on each and every, like, exact corner, and under the windows. I need to come back in here with some more concrete and make sure these windows um, look good. This should be continued in there, and then we'll do glass on floor one. So uh, all of this is, is glass. Probably just plain clear glass. I, I think that would look the best, but floor two is where we start to see some changes, or, or at least I, I have an idea. Um, now, same with up there. I have another idea. We won't actually have walkable floors, though. This will be the only walkable area in this building, uh, down here on this, this floor, because I don't think we really need to, um, to go up any higher. Now, if we did need to, I would totally be using um, scaffolding with the build because that would fit in here. But uh, yeah, there's just no need to go up any higher. So what I'm thinking is uh, a little bit of birch ledge work going on uh, up higher. On floor, I guess, air quote two, we could do something like this in the window. So fences, right? Uh, then on the top, we do panes. And then down low, like in, in here on the inside, we put some trap doors and close them. I think that would almost make it look like we have balconies going on from the outside of the building, uh, but there's a trick um, or, or a lie. Uh, we have no balconies whatsoever going on. Nope. Um, <laughs> now on the inside here, I think we could do probably just birch wood, um, like little supports. And then, um, hmm, do we want this going all the way around the edge? Um, yeah, I, I think so. I think we'll break up the white a little bit with the, the birch going all the way around the edge up there. And then on the ceiling, I'll just go ahead and add some depth up there, uh, like with the cobblestone beams. So that all kind of pops out a little bit. And then in the very, very, very top way up there, 
probably nothing will happen. I might hang some glowstone so there's uh, light illuminating from this thing um, at nighttime, but for the most part, um, all of the action will stay down here um, like this. Like we'll just plant everything over here and I'll run in and chop it down from time to time. Okay, so the outside looks good, but there's something missing. I definitely need some fences. And then on the inside, um, everything looks good. But again, something feels missing. So I think I'm going to try some lime banners in here, just on some of these long, long beams to, to fill this up. But I'm actually really happy with how that whole area turned out and uh, the build as a whole. Now, by the way, I'm doing two entrances, uh, one over there and one over there. After all, I, I just thought it would be kind of cool. Maybe I'll do like a garden here or something, um, which I will have to get in before the end of the episode, but a little bit more detailing on the outside of the build and then, um, yeah, the garden area. So for that, I'm thinking some kind of pond with sand, uh, definitely some coarse dirt in here, maybe some pods. All I could go rip some pods all up, um, but definitely like sand in, in a pond and then coarse dirt and lilacs. I'm going to put lots of lilacs in here, some birch leaf bushes and... Yeah, that should go ahead and finish up this this whole area. I think, hopefully, fingers crossed, maybe, please. Uh, I, I think, I, I don't know. I want to make sure it looks all really, really good because I am so happy with how this build is turning out. All right, so first things first, those lime banners. Oh, yeah, that definitely helps. Uh, maybe a bit much, though, so we'll pull some of these ones out. Next, some fences and maybe some lanterns while we're at it for a little bit of extra detail. Mm-hmm, that looks pretty good. Okay, the build is done, but uh, first, the comment of the day. So, episode 41, today's comment is from Meow Guy. The comment was, Hey Waddles, you should make the entrance of the skeleton farm a big bone skull and you go into the mouth and fall down into the farm. Uh, so, Meow Guy is talking about this area over here that we dealt with when we did uh, the lighthouse a few episodes back. Um, I did like a, a cave and I still need to come back and finish it honestly, but a skull here instead. And you know, I, I really like that idea. I wanted to save it um, with a comment of the day um, so I can remember it because you know, right now we're doing our thing, but uh, it could be really fun to come back in here and do like a skull and in, in coming out of this uh, mountain here or this hill. And then like, yeah, you walk into the skull and you fall down into the farm. I really thought that was a cool idea. So thank you, Meow Guy. And now the grand build reveal. So I did my terraforming. I did my decorating. And here is... The final product and the, the final mini little garden zone um, over here. I, I thought it could be cool to plant maybe some crops around this pond. So I have wheat and I definitely need to go over to the swamp biome that is right over there and get some lily pads for this uh, little pond. I think that could be cool. But uh, I went with bamboo growing everywhere and then I stopped it with string. So if you place string above sugarcane or bamboo, you can actually stop it from growing like wherever it is. So right here, I want the bamboo to stop like that because I think it looks cool string right on top and the string is almost invisible like I, I don't know if you even noticed that I did it there I did it over there uh, because I don't want the bamboo to get crazy crazy tall it will keep growing like not forever but for a crazy long time and it will look weird if that happens so yeah I stopped the bamboo from growing in some places and I need to show you this so uh, this is a 9x9 square minus four spots where I have some light and to harvest it, uh, this is all I need to do. This is like crazy. Now, uh, of course, this is going to use some durability on the sword, so maybe I need uh, like, like a sword only for harvesting, but bamboo harvest like instantly, and then you just run around, pick it all up, and of course replant after. But let me show you what I got uh, from that single harvest. It, it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, so... Yeah. <laughs> so six stacks and a little bit more of bamboo minus uh, 78 because 78 would get replanted. So about five stacks of bamboo from this thing. That's pretty good if you ask me. And I didn't even let it grow up fully. Like it could grow and uh, probably almost touch the ceiling or even touch the ceiling. 
I don't know. That's pretty crazy. I also went ahead and just terraformed this hill, so this whole area is now completely done. I think we'll have a road go straight up here still, and then go over towards whatever I do over here, but uh, yeah, that is a wrap, I think, for today's episode. So, I'd like to send a special shout-out to Sarah R. for the support, and uh, today a shout-out to everybody else who watches. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it. Drop a like, subscribe. Uh, links in the description. Bamboo forever. Thanks for watching. My name is Waddles.